Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV with another Q&A session for you. And this is a really important question to cover actually. I always make videos about my different lighting. So I've got studio lighting on at the moment and for my product reviews I use a combination of studio lighting and also these LED lights. And I'm in the fortunate position of having tested uh, different sorts of LED lights from different manufacturers. And App Screencast has asked, Roto Light versus Manfrotto LED lights, which is better, Dave? Well, there is a third one which I'm going to show you in this video. And I'll start off with that third one, I think, which is the budget option. And these are the first LED lights that I ever purchased. Now, this one actually has become 40, and that's um, one of the downsides of the budget end of lights. Uh, I purchased these off of eBay. There, if I just take this off, 126 LED panel. So you've got 126 LEDs behind there and you've got a diffuser plate on the front. You've got a switch on the side which allows you to adjust the brightness of the light. And it runs either off of AA batteries or uh, for a better sort of solution, you can buy these rechargeable batteries. The person that you buy them from normally tells you what model battery you need and then you need to get a charger as well. You also need to add some sort of mounting system so I had to spend a little bit extra on this. Now people have asked why do you spend the extra on the other LED lights that I'm going to show you in a minute. Well these ones ran about sort of 30 pounds something like that and then don't forget you've got to add on the cost of the batteries and that ultimate solution is rechargeable batteries. I know you can use double A's in these, but they don't last very long, so you really do need to invest in these sort of camcorder type batteries. Another 10 pound there, 10 pound for the charger, an extra sort of 10 pound for the sort of mounting option that I had to buy on there as well. So all in all, these probably come out to about sort of 45 to 50 pounds. They do offer a really nice light, the diffusing plate really does help, so if you do decide to go the budget route, make sure you get one with these diffusers in the front, these sort of frosted bits of plastic. Uh, I was unfortunate that this one went 40. Uh, before it went 40, it was a fantastic buy for me and worked extremely well. So that's your, your first option, what I'd call the budget option. Then next up in the range, I did some reviews uh, on these Manfrotto lights, and I'll put links in the video description to all of, the, all of these videos and these come in various sizes as well. You can get a mini one uh, with 12 LEDs, you can get a 24 LED option, and then this is the 36 LED option, and they all vary in prices. Um, I think from memory they start around about the 30 pound mark, maybe a little bit cheaper, up to around about 60 or 70 pounds. And these run off of AAA batteries. Um, this particular one, if I just take the battery cover off, that's got four AAA batteries in there, in the back. And they also mount on a tripod, or they will mount on top of your camera on the hot shoe. No need to spend any extra money because they come with a little mounting bit on the bottom. And they've got a rotatable switch on the side, which allows you to adjust the intensity of the LEDs on the front. You don't get any diffuser on these, so if you wanted to, you could add a film of plastic to maybe diffuse the light if you wanted to. They're quite directional, these ones, because they're quite small, that you need to place them a little bit further away from your product to get the lighting to cover evenly. Otherwise, you're gonna get sort of hot spots in your videos, and I've experienced that in some of my videos that you may well have watched. So that's the other option. And then the third option, which is the dearest option, are these. This is my Roto light, and it's a circular um, array of LEDs in there. And this one I've got a, a diffuser gel or a diffuser film in front of the LEDs so that creates a softer light. Because of this round pattern as well, it gives a sort of a wider um, amount of light and it seems to light a little bit more evenly and less directional than the other options. These though, 99 pounds. They run off three AA batteries. 
you get different colored gels and of course then you have to add the cost of the little mini tripod on these ones are about 25 or 30 pounds so all in all 130 pounds which one's best i would probably choose between the manfrotto and the roto light and it's whichever fits within your budget really you're going to need two ideally possibly three if you can afford it to give you the best option um, but i would always say a combination of studio light and led light uh, gives you the most flexible setup. So brilliant question. I can't give you the definitive answer because it depends what your budget is and What's best for you is what you can afford as well really but definitely try and go for a combination of studio and LED and If you're only going LED and no studio lights two or three lights just so you can place one at either side and perhaps one overhead if you need a bit of an extra fill light so brilliant question Thank you very much for asking it. If you've got any more questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. Please do click the like button on this video because it really does help me. And I will see you all in the next one.